search, buy, and wait? This is the plight of many internet shoppers. But if 3D printers like this catch on, that could all change. In 10 years, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna go to any stores anymore to go and buy physical things. You're gonna buy the design online, print it out in your house, and be able to use it within 30 minutes to an hour. Kobe Kabili helped create this, the Robo 3D. At $700, it's one of the cheapest 3D printers on the market. It prints out objects in two types of plastics, and now in wood. These are Lincoln Logs. These are printed out of our wood material. Smells like wood. You can sand it down. It's one of the many wonders here at the 3D Printer World Expo, where makers of 3D printers were showing off their latest models and their coolest prints. Objects like these are printed from plastic filament, which is melted and forced through a nozzle, kind of like a hot glue gun. But there's more than one kind of printing process. This is the Pegasus Touch laser 3D printer. Other 3D printers print with a type of plastic. The Pegasus Touch uses a UV laser to harden the liquid resin into plastic. Using lasers originally designed for Blu-ray burners, the Pegasus Touch can print objects up to 100 times faster than filament printers and in greater detail. But that all comes at a price, nearly $3,000. Over at MakerBot, a popular manufacturer of more conventional 3D printers, the company showed off models from its online community, Thingiverse. There are all sorts of different mechanical parts, engineering focused things, but there's also art, there's scanned objects on there. One of my favorites that came in is actually this retro rocket pencil case. But maybe you were looking for something a little more personal? This is Fuel 3D's portable 3D scanner, due out in September. 3D printing is a very exciting technology to go to consumers. But you need content. You can use a device such as ours and just take a photograph of something in the real world and print it on a 3D printer. Like my face. The fuel scanned in my face in 3D in a matter of seconds. Scans like this can be used to personalize 3D printer files. Like this ultimate personalized mug. With more 3D printers coming to market and prices going down, if you can think it up, you can probably print it up too.